You see, yesterday when Raylo Dinga was in Kitengela, he was having a road show like what he always calls Meet the People Tour. Um, some people were trying to bring out a different conversation that people always come out to cheer Raylo Dinga when he is on campaigns and at the same time when he is meeting the people. But when it reaches the ballot, definitely people disappear or something very unique happens and we do not have the votes that are a replicate of the majority that Raila drives during campaigns. And a given conversation came up based on how Kalonzo Musoka is supposed to maintain the ground. Now, if he is supposed to play his politics based on how Raila has been doing it, then he might actually inherit the trait of Raila as a man who is having the force or having the impetus to drive a given narrative during campaigns, but when it reaches the D-Day, you know, the votes disappear. What is it that Kalonzo Musoka should actually do right now to ensure that he's on the right track? Because they always say that history repeats itself. So if he doesn't want the history to repeat itself, then he must be very chonjo. He must be very much active and he must ensure that his, his, his antennas, political antennas, are always very high. Now the first thing, preparing the ground right now will make Kalonzo to actually go into ensuring that you know he solidifies the ground and solidifying the ground here is the ground that Raylo Dinga has always maintained for that good time. Now Kalonzo Musika stands a good opportunity to ensure that he clinches presidency in 2027. The other time when I was telling you that he only you know left with, he's only left with the option of giving all that he has and show, showing us what he's made of in 2027. So if you talk of past 2027, he's not going to have anything left. So that means if he's supposed to ride on Raylo Dinga's wave, then riding on Raylo Dinga's wave must only be done to solidify the ground. After he has solidified the ground, then looking at the fact that, you know, presidency is always taken and not given, more or less the same to what is being said, that power is always taken and not being given, he must not actually concentrate on the force that Raila was driving. If he is expecting that, you know, the grace will just flow directly like that, it will not actually work perfectly for him. By the way, if he waits in that manner, it will mean that the failures that Raila had, perhaps sometimes back, might even flow in him. So the limitations, he must ensure that the current or the wave that Raila was dispensing is only helping him to solidify the ground. Then after that, he must be strategic. After people voting, we always say that people can always go to vote, but whoever counts the votes or whoever announces the results will matter a lot, always having uh, to play the pivotal role. Clenching the presidency will be based on what is he doing extra that will make him to know exactly how to operate in the behind the scenes. How can he actually maneuver his ways to get closer to the deep set? What is it that he is actually supposed to do for him to ensure that he perfectly well identifies with the given select of the deep state? He aligns with what the deep state's interest is and that will make him to flow with the system. He is a man who has always known that there is a system that always determines everything. So if he slumbers, if he waits for only riding on the way that Raila has been dispensing all along, atapata mwana si wake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ebu tusaliam tusalimia nani mahali tulipo. Eh. Ebu enoeni tena tunamjua tumechoka. Tusilale na tupige kelele na sio kupiga kelele, tutapiga kelele technically. Tutapiga Kelele zetu in a manner that does not mean we are lesser citizens than anybody else. Equality of the person under the law. Kwa hivo, musiwe tumutangojea sisi tu Raila Arudi pale. I will not allow Raila me myself Arudi kwa, kwa, kwa maandamano. Let the country do it. Muna nisikia? Hello? Umesikia what I said? 
Yaani sio Raila kila wakati na Kalonzo anapigwa tiaga za want you to know bishops and thank you so much chairman you prayed in think in the small room there you say that there are deliberate efforts kumuua Raila kwa risas wakati wa maandamano na kutokana na hiyo maandamano ndio tunafanya mazungumzo if people want to go for uh, negotiations uh, national dialogue it must be that that is done in a spirit of good faith good faith imani kwamba ufichi kisu hapa nyuma kuna wengine wanaenda kuzungumza na mtu na aweka kisu nyuma eh utadu wengine wana hiyo attitude utadu sisi tuko mamlakani what will you do please remember there's god in heaven and this is why you are chenda hapo wacha nimwalike my sister mother oh gavana gavana want to talk you know i'm against protocol actually these days I, I don't people should talk wherever they are if i was talking i was going to call mother ungekunukuludu with the vote of thanks for